I'm Ken Gracie. Um, I live in a small community in the Sierra Nevada mountains where the big draw every year is the high school jazz band performance. <laughs> Each year, the teacher gathers all the parents up and he asks them who's going to help out with the set because that's the job for the parents is to make a good set. So this year, back in September, a painter stood up, Lewis, and then a carpenter named Dave. And then, well, I had to raise my hand because my friends were. <laughs> and I would do the electronics. <laughs> So the students chose the theme of Disney for the second half. What we created was a show that, that really wrapped around their songs very nicely. And it had a giant castle with a Tinkerbell on the top that spun around. And it had a whole series of cardboard animations like a, an Olaf, a Hey Hey, a Mickey Mouse, Fluffy, Cruella's dog. And on each music stand, were these lighting fixtures that were all independently wirelessly controlled over RF. And we had 10 different lighting sequences that matched their 10 different songs. Well, the way the music stands worked in the performance is that each one had on it a strip of WS2812 LEDs, and these were connected to their own propeller activity boards and power supply. And then what I was able to do was program each propeller to receive one of 10 commands, and based on the command it would receive, it would activate a different lighting sequence. So how did it work from, from my position is I just simply had an XP device, that's an XP Pro, okay? And this was all set up in transparent mode. I'm just sending out characters, and all of the music stand propeller activity boards were configured as receivers. So I would use Parallax Serial Terminal right here. It's super simple, you just come in, type in a command, hit enter, and then that lighting sequence would be transmitted wirelessly to each stand. So I asked the students to get creative and they made all these cardboard cutouts of different characters. So we have Olaf, Mickey, Hey Hey, there was a Tinkerbell, and Fluffy, Cruella's dog. When these showed up, I just got out my box cutter knife, hot glue gun, and I went to town on each one, making them do something different. So this one is Olaf, and he just got googly eyes and um, LED buttons, and they're kind of all the same. Hot glue gun on the back uh, with some foam core board, propeller, and just wire it up and go. So they all work the same way. The exception is Fluffy, the dog, who rode on top of a Parallax Arlo robot, and he was managed by remote control from the side of the stage. This is just a quick look at Tinkerbell. So Tinkerbell's a $20 eBay plush doll from China. Um, and when she showed up, I realized she had these wings and I was able to put a servo on her back and make them flap. Again, just a little bit of hot glue working really fast. I only had an hour to do this. Here are the LEDs, these are WS2812s. And all of this is programmed in Blockly Prop. And in the comments for the video, I'll make sure all the programs are linked.